What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Linux Media Clinic. So I got something a little different for you guys today. Yeah, so today I'm pulling out old project car I got a while ago, but I'm taking it to a shop to get an estimate on some body work and some paint. So let's take a look at it. First I'm gonna clean up a little spot right here and then get the car out. Move it over there to show you guys what's up. Alright guys, so I bought this car a while ago and it was had a bunch of hail damage. I attempted to do some of the body work myself, but at this point I am kind of ready to just pass it on to somebody else, let them do a good job. I um, pretty much, doesn't really look like it now, but it's a brand new rag top that I put on, the old one was ruined. So uh, put that one on. I think I do need a windshield too. This one's cracked, but yeah. So let's get this this little goat cart out and see what's up. So I'm gonna have to move this Mercedes up a little bit. Um, we did a little uh, radiator swap and stuff. I still need to change the hood, and I might do a little video on that whenever I wrap this project up. But yeah. look at that! Man, I might have to pull this sucker out completely. Uh. All right. So in order to move this car, I have to charge up the battery. Got this battery charger right here. Positive, negative. Gotta wait a little bit and start her up and move her on out. Okay, while that battery's charging, I'm gonna do a startup. This thing has not started in a, at least a year. So here we go. Oh, oh, I don't have the keys. Where are they? Oh, they're over there. Okay, first startup in about a year, maybe more. charge this battery too all right guys I um, charged the battery up a little bit which I don't think that was a problem but I did put some more fuel in there let it sit so the lights still not off but hopefully we'll get some right, so I uh, sat there and cranked and cranked and cranked the engine but um, nothing happened so I started to do some troubleshooting wasn't the battery uh, luckily all of this is exposed, so the fuel pump was easily accessible, and pulled out the fuel pump, and this thing is just absolutely nasty. Uh, I probably should have put a full tank of gas in it, but there was like almost zero gasoline in there, and this thing just got corroded. I'm going to try to take this apart, see what I can do with it. If I can repair this, I'll just use this one. If not, I might have to buy a whole new assembly. But yeah, let's look at the, uh, the hole. All right, so this is the driver's seat, passenger seat is not in there right now, or in here. And that is the hole where the fuel pump is. You need to unscrew a few bolts to do some stuff like that and it comes right out. All right, so I took this uh, fuel filter apart, or the whole fuel filter assembly. But I didn't really want to film any of that because um, my hands were like super gassy. Here's the top piece, and here's the actual fuel pump. Look at that. This thing is donezo. 
I'm gonna test it to see if it still works, but I'm definitely gonna have to buy at least a new fuel pump. I might even buy a whole new assembly or I might just buy a new fuel pump and new little uh, little thing to see how much uh, gas I have. Cause that's like, I poured in like five gallons of gas and it was still saying that there's no gas in there. So uh, yeah, stuff definitely is malfunctioning, but I'm gonna put it all together, clean it or clean it and then put it all together and then clean it again and throw it back in the MR2 and see if it works. Stay tuned.